Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Bart smelling an empty glass. We got us sure empty. Brooke Lottie, Black Art, 5.1. 5.1. And this is episode 350. 350, special episode. Let's this, test it. Test it! I was going to talk more. All right, we're back. We got us Brook Lottie Black Art. Do not call it Black Arts. You will offend some aficionados. Really? I think it's just Black Art. I usually say Black Arts. No, Black Art. I am an offender. <laughs> I am an offender. This was purchased by uh, funds from our Patreon account. So yes. thank you to the Super Scotch Gods that help support us. By the way, with Patreon, we're getting ready to do some private... They're live shows, but they're not going to be open for view. So we're going to reach out first. Just hangouts. Right. We're going to do some hangouts. And the way we're figuring out, because we got, we actually have a lot of supporters now. We're at 40 different supporters right now. Yes. And one thing we're going to do is to, the supporters that have been with us longer or greater donators are already above 100. They're going to get a little something special that we're going to tease out a little bit later when they show up. So nothing on that now, but thank you to the uh, Patreon supporters. I don't think we supporters. even tease it. They get it. They're the only ones that know they got it. No, I think it's we got to let them know that, secret. you know, when you hit it's a secret. certain level of support, you get little bonuses. Secret. I don't think it's secret. It's like the black art. We don't even know what's in there. That is true. Art. <laughs> what else, you know, what else we have here? What do you got there? What's that? This is the special coin. This is coin 250 cask 1. The very last coin. The very, very last coin in the first cask. That's available. Yeah, well, we set aside 1 through 50 uh -huh. that we're, we're going to make our own sets with. We sold 51 through 250. Now, this one we're going to put on eBay like we did with the uh, 300th episode. Right. Right. Was that the 300th episode? It was, yeah. The uh, Barry Crockett Middleton. But what have you edition. decided to pair with it on eBay? We got uh, the Cask 2 coin number 250. Boom, and we're going to initial these or sign these as well. So these will be on eBay. When we did our 300th episode, you were like, hey, let's throw it on eBay, see what it goes for. Yeah. And it, it, because the money again goes to help us produce the show. The show's always going to be free, and our white balance is doing some funky stuff, so uh. I apologize. We're, the show's always going to be free, but one thing we're trying to raise Patreon funds for is a new camera. Scott's already told me this is my camera we're using now. Sometimes we use his. And he says this camera currently would fit in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I call it a satchel or a European carry-all. <laughs> well, yeah. And I was going to get an upgraded one similar to this, and he was like, no, we're going to go semi-low pro. Yep. Turns out those are expensive. Yeah. So enough of that, but some of the uh, some of the Patreon funds are going to go to that. I just updated Patreon. We're also looking or planning, we're in the early stages of planning a bourbon trail tour, and... <laughs> Well, we are. Oh, okay. We're, we're going to go oh, you there said 2018. Early stages. Oh, okay. 2018, right? Well, for sure. Mm, I don't know if I can say for sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One, we need some of the, the monies. So we Two, are we in gotta the early find stages. The, the time. But, and then an extended goal, do we agree we're in the dream stage of a trip to Scotland? And I do say dream stage. Yeah. But we did decide before we go to Scotland, we're going to practice our chops with doing a trip to the bourbon trail yeah bourbon trail would be a good test run and and uh and we're thinking when we get it established we'll let it out to all the fans and they might even be able to join us part of what we so, talked about was literally maybe next year we rent a car and we drive down there and we're able to hit the spots let the different distilleries know we're coming and maybe we can even uh, arrange for fans to join us and do a vip tour but that's all patreon stuff go check us out patreon scotch test dummies talk okay uh, Brook Lottie, Black Art. That was rude. I apologize. Edition 5.1. Yes. Age 24 years. Crazy. Now, they use a combination of casks to make this. Yes. Um, now, Jim McEwen was the distiller. Right. Up until edition 5.1, which Adam Hannett has now taken over, and he's created this super secret casking. Black Art. Bottling. Right. The they youngest. don't even tell you what no. casks were used Ever. to make this. Ever. Uh, limited edition of 12,000 bottles only. 
Now I was going to point out because your can for the 4.1 is still sitting back here, mm -hmm. and it's it, it's edition 4.1, aged 23 years. Right. So now this one 5.1 a year later is now aged 24 years. Right. So, but I don't know. Was it limited to 12,000 bottles as well? Mm, Should we grab know. it and look? Well, it was more. It was less expensive. I can tell you yeah, that. it was. The uh, 5.1 was yeah, coming in. Hundred dollars less. Yeah, almost a hundred dollars more. Well, yeah, the well, 4.1 yeah, was hundred dollars less. less. Yeah, Jim McEwen. This is another beguiling and <laughs> complex spirit. It does not say. How I'll many see right bottles. here underneath the edition 5.1, age 24 years, limited edition, 12,000 bottles. Yeah, this just says the fourth release showcasing the spellbinding craft of head distiller Jim McEwen. Now, what we would have loved to have done is had some of that and did a, done them side yeah. by side. Yeah. Um, but Bart drank all of it. I did. You know, it was getting a little low, and I wish I hadn't, but I was under the impression that if I didn't consume it at this point in time, it might start to lose its flavor because it was below a third. And I heel slate it. And I don't know. We were talking to Martin Lesby who said he hasn't noticed it really impacting anything. And I wish I would have held on to it a little mm. longer to do a direct comparison. Now, I did just notice on the bottom, uh, on the back side, we do have bottle number 267 out of 12. I do have the same, the, the yeah. empty bottle. Let me see. Nope. Look at that. They did not add that. And this is bottled at 48.4% alcohol as well. See, this is 49.2. Nice color. Oh, 49.2. Yes. Barely yeah. higher. This is coloring free, and it's non-chill filtered, at least this one. I will say the first time I had Black Heart was the 3.1. Someone has... Where did I have it? Board oh. game convention. Um, <laughs> somewhere in our travels, I've learned there is a minimum ABV. 40. If it's a well, if it, no, I mean, as far as chill filtering, if it's chill filtered, it'll be under it's like 46 and a half percent or 47 percent. If it's over that, it's not chill filtered. Hmm. And someone can comment on what that is. Do you see what I'm saying there? I see what you're if, saying. Like, this is 48.4 percent. So, right. if they didn't put non chill filter, you would on there, know it already. You would know it already because, because when you chill over, filter, it's going to bring it the ABV down. drops it down, right? I, I'm not privy to that fact. It's a like a 46 and a half or a 47 and a half percent. We sat down. We actually got this bottle in April when they first released it. Right. And we've been we held this one for this review. Special hold, right? For 350. Uh, I almost get a port finish. Hmm. Now the thing is, they don't tell you what the castings are used. There could be a sherry influence. There could be a port. There could be a Pedro Jimenez. <laughs> Bur ex bourbon who knows they don't tell you so they don't i do secret. get secret i do get for sure almost a port port finish on the nose some of those lighter berries and fruits yeah. yeah i get the berries i get a very nice vanilla and a sugar cane sweetness i got oranges and cotton Ooh, candy i just got a little sherry right there did you yeah it uh -huh. could be in there yeah sometimes a port nose and a sherry nose are well, pretty close that is true i would agree though yeah definitely port or sherry not real strong though. Not, I mean, not the the influence of the sh sherry or the port isn't that heavy on the nose. How about said the Chevy? Yeah, right. You know, you know, I'm a huge Brook Lottie fan. Huge. I remember the 4.1 blowing me away, being really good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. And I think you should buy another bottle of it. <laughs> There's some out there still. Mm. I'm going to have to hit the open in a bit because the mid-level. Some of the port finish comes through on the palate to me. Those lighter berries, the blueberries. Right. I almost get like a Raspberries. Um, orange. Spice, kitchen spice, cinnamon and ginger. Apricot in the finish. Okay, I get a little ginger. Cinnamon, caramel, slight nuttiness. Mm -hmm. Very warming for 48%. It is warming. 
and I get mm. on the forefront I get like a um, this will sound weird but almost like a prune syrup on the forefront but then it goes astringent and dry I got a plum leaf tobacco mm. okay yeah Now I go in my notes. I've moved to water added to it. Okay. So I'm going to add a splash of water. I get like a uh, almost like a rice syrup. Rice and syrup. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I don't know add rice. Rice syrup. Yeah, I had it on a. Uh, <laughs> I had it on these these uh, nut clusters. These nuts. Health food or something where they used a a rice syrup. Hmm. So maybe it's some of the nut influence as well. I thought you were just going to say you had it on these nuts. Oh, that's not nice. I need to use my coin right there. Yes, you do. So you know it. That's right. Coin 250. 250, 250. cast 50. one, 250 cast 250. two. Uh, the Sharpie is here. As we close out, we will sign it, both of them. I hate to mess them up. Not mess them up, but mark on it. No. I mean, we did the the uh, coin 200 for episode 300. got to be signed. It makes them special. I agree. <laughs> I, I'm just saying I almost What side to. do we sign? You can't sign. Should we sign black on black? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have my silver marquee with me. I hate to write on that Did side with the marquee? serial number. You said my silver marquee. Mark Sharpie. Oh. You Sorry. Said marquee. My silver marquee. Um, with water? A roasted marshmallow. Really? Okay, now i got to add water. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> There it is. I knew I had it in here. This is impressing me. Okay. Ooh, a little bit of salt right there. Hmm. A little bit of that unpeated Brook Lottie underneath in there. Maybe, maybe a wisp, wisp of smoke. Hmm. Really? Yeah. A wisp. On my notes, in nose I show sherry raisin, dark fruit, cherry, and some grain. Under my taste, I have sweet sherry, spiced, feels like a higher ABV, which is on there. I don't know why I'd write that. And but, I mean, a not bit of tobacco. 48% though, True. it's not that high. Right. And then I've got some notes when I add water in it, but I like how my notes, and this is from way back April 13th, that I also listed a bit of tobacco. Mm -hmm. Now I've got blood orange in my notes, which I only know from the yogurt that I buy that's got blood orange in it. It does not sound appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a... Game of Thrones. It's kind of a, I mean, it's like a red, red color. It is a little weird at first, but it tastes pretty good. All right. So in my notes, I have a weird note. After I add water, Okay, before I say it, it is still, I can see it there, and it's because of the caramel. Didn't you say you got some caramel after you added water? Uh -huh. well, that was before. Okay. Before water. My notes, under after adding water, I have caramelized baked ham. You know how you get that sweet, succulent, sugary kind of baked ham, like around Thanksgiving? Or are you just thinking the... It's got almost a honey. The I'm just thinking the honey. Yeah, the honey. Not the ham, so you just like the glaze. Right, but it's kind of the ham lends that savory flavor to mm. it as well. And the caramelization of kind of that honey glaze on there, that, that coating of when it bakes, that's what I listed here. I'm going to try to tease it out a little bit. I spent some time with this. I do have in my notes with the water brought out, I just have a, that slight charcoal or peat, very slight. And I just barely got a wisp of it before. Yeah. One time. Yeah. I think maybe you just have to be breathing just right. Or right maybe it's just, yeah, My doing angry, angry chip. Yeah, I do get a little bit of smoke. Yeah, just barely. Well, I'm not sure mm. I could say I'm getting caramelized baked ham now. <laughs> that is a weird note for this one. No, I've, I, I would I can, say so sometimes with more heavily peated stuff, but well, not, not something this sweet. This is really sweet. Very sherried, very ported, something in there. Um, and even in my notes, I've got, I'm still thinking port, although I've gotten some, there's a little bit of sherry influence, I believe, as well. 
and the berries are just up front. Pants were swishing. Oh, mine or yours? Yeah, yours. I'm not. Moving. I was moving my shoes, with my feet around in my was? sandals. wasn't sure what was making the noise. <laughs> Maybe that was it. It's not like you had parachute pants was like in the '80s. The one episode where your stomach is growling, you can b barely hear it. Have yeah. you noticed that? Did you watch that in the video? I did. You, you can't, can't quite tell where it comes from. Yeah, you hear a little. I'm blaming it on around. the camera. Yeah, it was the camera. <laughs> I was like, "Have you ate? Oh, I ate some crackers. Yeah, oh. It wasn't sitting well." <laughs> Mm. Okay, the night we sat down with this, I'm going to tell you, I thought the 4.1 was better. All right, we talked about that. This is more impressive today. I'm getting, right. I mean, it's... We talked about letting it open up, and then we definitely talked about how I wish I hadn't heel slayed this 4.1. And you talked about how we might even be able to find a 4.1 that's still out there. Uh -huh. This is a 92 for me. I like the tobacco notes. I like the warming finish. The caramelization is there. And I still get a bit of savoriness and juicy succulents from like that. Savory. Hand. Savoriness? I think it's savoriness. Hmm. You don't just say, I, don't, I get the savory. <laughs> savoriness <laughs> i make words up on here all the time oakiness savoriness mm. peatiness so there's a little bit more of the the saltiness and just that very slight slight wisp of right. smoke i want to say we've tried to work on our white balance and it it's bothering off. me at this point in time and i'm sorry Not much we're, we can do we're gonna try to do something in post new camera video <laughs> camera is coming hopefully soon. hopefully we haven't ordered it yet but uh we had a we had a bunch Maybe of we'll Patreon. Maybe we'll put a little title page right in front of the this video. This is why we, we apologize need, yeah. for. We need more Patreon backers. <laughs> um, concealed purple. Ninety five delicious. Um, and and the night that we sat down with it, I was thinking the four point one was better. I wasn't for sure. I thought I'm going to hold out on my score. Wait till we sit down for the review. I felt like the four Very, point one was a tartar, sweetier, sweetier. I am making <laughs> stuff up. Sweeter. Gosh, I wish I'd saved some to compare. Mm. We might need to try to find the 4.1. I saw it last weekend. Okay. So. All right. It's still very delicious. I'm curious if it's going to open up more as it oxidizes, but I still get the impression, although I can't verify that the 4.1 shocked and stunned and impressed me more. Mm. Um. I bought it based off of my taste of a 3.1 in a plastic cup, and I knew you would love it. Yeah. Now, to, um, the original 4.1. Like I say, the night that we sat down with this back in April, it it seemed to me it was a little lighter, a little fruitier, wasn't as rich. Today, it's some of that is back, but I don't, I mean, like I say, we need the 4.1 beside it to see. I mean, we so, almost need it for. Do you have versions. like? Is there like a drop left in the bottle? I don't think so. Let me look. <laughs> I don't think there is. Tip it up. Ooh. I don't want to do it. We don't have a. We don't have a Glen just, Karen. Just tip it up. Do it. Shoot it. Is there any left? There you go. A couple drops. Got to be. There was a drop. <laughs> <laughs> it's barrier. It's barrier. Oh, so really? you can get something. No, not after you Look just had it. your lips on Look there. It. I Look seen the that. way you was mouthing that thing. Tasted a little barrier. Huh. All right, on my dime, find a 4.1. It's down in Dallas at Total. Uh, they had two bottles. If they still have it, see if you can find it, because this seems sweeter, less astringent. But Maybe that was literally a last drop that just went bloop. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was in there. It was like nothing, 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 and then his like nectar touched my lower lip. So and that's I it. licked it. We scored, I gave it a 95, you said 92. 92. Um, is it worth it? This one was higher. This one was 350, 360 range. 370? I don't remember for sure. You're not, I know, I, the thing is, I know the 4.1 was 295. I know, and that was worth it. I don't feel this is worth it. I feel like the 4.1 was better, although we got to head to head compare. And this jumped. I got the 4.1, I 
I think I used Caskers or something, and I got it for two ninety. And this was. I thought it was from Applejack. I thought I. Well, no. When I bought it for my uh, that, I the ran a tasting one. in Dallas. The second one I bought was for a guy that mm -hmm. was a Wall Street dude that said, "Hey, I want to be the hit of your tasting. Can I buy something?" And I said, "You'll like this." And, or the 4.1, and he said, get it, source it for me. And I, that one I know was 280 mm -hmm. out of Apple Jacks, mm -hmm. and they shipped. Mm -hmm. So um, that was one of those weird deals where I see how, I mean, I don't know how much money he has, but he was like, I want something great, I'll buy it, you source it. And I was like, huh? I mean, it sounded great, because I was like, yes, but then I had it shipped to me and everything, and I got there, and then sure enough, he loved it, and he was the hit. But it was like I did all the work. Uh -oh. This is how you must feel around me. <laughs> I did I did all the work. I found it, sourced it, money up front. He paid me back. But then he walked around the party like, look what I got. And people were like, ah! And I was like, wait, I got that. But I didn't really buy it. <laughs> I did all the work getting it, arranging it, connecting it, having it shipped and repackaging it so it arrived safely at the Dallas tasting. And then he walked around like a he got like a credit. conquering hero. Yeah. yeah, like he didn't even say Bart got this for me. And he did actually. He said he oh. sourced it for me. And they were like, Oh, you're awesome. And I was like, No, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm I, I sourced awesome. it. But he did buy awesome. it. I wouldn't have brought that if it wasn't for him. Why is he awesome? So it was this cool, weird, yeah. And there was like he was like, You get some and I got like a little bit. And at the end of the night it was empty and he was like, That was like awesome. And I was like, You're like a conquering hero. Sorry, I don't <laughs> Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Coin 250s. <laughs> 250s, we're going to sign them. Go to eBay, it'll be up for a week. Go eBay. No, wait a second, let's tell them though. So this is eBay. airing. This is going to air, it's going to be on a Wednesday because we had to keep with our numbering. I'm signing the red side. Bourbon, hold on just a second. I'm signing the white Stormtrooper side. We have to go, we have to air this on Saturday. We can't go into the reasons why. Got it. We have scheduling. Yes. Uh, to keep with the number 350. No? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll have a It'll week. Air. From when this airs, the air date, you got one right. week to go to eBay, when we get seven out of, days. Yeah, and when we get out of sequence, people let us know, so we try to stay in sequence. That surprised me the first time that happened. <laughs> Did not surprise me. Somebody pointed it out. Hey, what yeah. happened to so and so? Oh yeah, I I've like, done. Wow, I've done board game stuff, and when you get out of sequence, people let you know. They will be like, "Do you?" Or if you make a promise to do something, and then you're off a little bit, which you know is going to happen to me, they let you know. Mm -hmm. And they're fans, so you can't really get mad, but you're like, "Wow, people are paying attention." Because sometimes you feel like you're doing this in a bubble, like there's nobody out there. But there you know is. what? There's, There's people, people out there. All right. We're going to scotch at you, scotch gods, again. So, launch a dumbass. That was all guttural. <laughs> Let's see you guys.